This is the truth of everything. The name of the getting lost comes from my childhood, when I used to lost myself on purpose by driving a bicycle around suburbias of my hometown. The point was to get into unfamiliar areas, look around a bit and then find the way back home. When I grew up, I got a little frustrated because it was quite difficult to find unfamiliar areas from my hometown anymore. However, when my family moved in the middle of nowhere, I got dozens of new areas in the form of Finnish forests. Getting lost in a forest is a natural for me, as I've grown up inside them, and that's a good reason to begin getting lost with an episode about them. This is Finland and from here my journey goes to Spain, another side of the European Union. Spain is divided into 17 autonomous communities and the one where I went is called Galicia. And in Galicia I lived in the city of Pontevedra, which is also the name of the province. I studied here in University of Bellas Artes and I also managed to find a place for an internship. That allowed me to stay about a year in Galicia. Yes, Pontevedra is quite a small town with only about 80,000 inhabitants, but it was never a problem to me as I've been in the middle of nowhere my whole teenage. Pontevedra also has its own charm, especially through its old city and history that you can feel when you walk on its streets. Like one local told me, streets of Pontevedra are full of magic. And I can assure you it's definitely true. Pontevedra. As you can see, it's quite sunny and uh, great weather around here. Summer is coming soon. I want to sit here down in the forest. Okay, this is not a real forest uh, as you speak, but a group of trees inside a park. Finnish people are really often comfortable in uh, forests because we have a lot of them and uh, many of people just like me have a connection to forests uh, from their childhood, really strong connection actually many times. And uh, most of the Finns also know that uh, forests are actually more safe place than any cities and any places where there are people. So. And they have killed in Finland one person uh, in 100 years or something like that. And uh, think about how many people are killed uh, by cars. Huge amount of people have been killed by cars. And still almost no one fears uh, cars. So uh, these kind of fears are really irrational. And, uh, and uh, I think most of the people in Finland realize that uh, there is no need to afraid, be afraid of beer. Actually, bear is uh, usually more afraid of human, so it's really unlikely to, to even find a one. Yeah, I know many people might think that this is some kind of a hippie thing that, oh, let's go to a forest and hug some trees. Ah. 
I love the world. Of course, in Finland we have these hippies too, and uh, I think in every one of us uh, uh, lives some kind of a hippie. Uh, in my too, in myself too. But uh, I'm not talking about uh, hugging trees right now here. Just more practical relationship with forests. Just like uh, enjoying to be there, feeling it really comfortable, and uh, living inside a forest uh, instead of uh, outside of it. Many people think that we have so much forest, so we don't have to protect them. We just should use them. How can you protect forests if everyone thinks that we have so mu so damn much forest that we can psh, cut them all down if we want to? It's not all about about all Finnish forests, uh, all the forest of uh, paper industry. It's not about that. It's all about about small per percentage of forests and many Finnish people don't know that either. The old forests have a, have an ecosystem that is different from another normal forest. There are insects and stuff like that that doesn't live anywhere else. So do we really want to destroy all of them from Finland? I don't think so. At least I don't want to. I bought uh, from the local food store something really local. So, uh, oh, here is a piece of it. It's octopus. Looks like a piece of tulhu, and that's why I like it. When I eat this kind of octopus, uh, it's uh, it tastes better than uh, squids that I've been eating in Finland. And uh, because it looks like more like a real octopus, I like that too. The purple color and uh, yeah, almost like eating a kulhu, kulhu, however it should be pronounced, I don't know. But anyway, this pie is really good. If someone thought that in Spain there is no food culture. That person is really wrong. And uh, if someone thought that there is no food culture in Galicia, that person is also wrong. So uh, there is a huge differences and uh, local foods all over the Spain. Uh, so it's not just about food of Spain, tortilla or something like that, uh, that everyone almost knows. But uh, there are a lot of differences in the different areas, just like here in Galicia. Right now, actually, I don't wish anything else. I'm really happy. Hmm.